31. Eliezer's Mission Ten camels moved across the plain. They went down one hill and up another, under the heat of the burning sun. The first camel took the lead, and the others followed. They went through cities and villages and crossed rivers. They were traveling north, and they still had a long way to go. Far away, beyond the horizon, lay the city to which the old gray man on the first camel was leading them. That man was the oldest and most important of Abraham's servants. He was in charge of everything Abraham possessed. His name was Eliezer. All his life, Eliezer had worked for Abraham. He had always been faithful. He had always done his work well. Now, in his old age, his master Abraham had given him the most difficult assignment of his life. He was to go to a faraway land and bring back a wife for Isaac. He was to choose a young woman from the many young women that probably lived there, a young woman who feared the Lord. How would the old servant know if the woman he chose really did fear the Lord? How can anyone, no matter how old and gray he is, ever tell what lives in someone else's heart? Why did Abraham decide that Isaac needed a wife? Something very sad had happened in Abraham's household. Sarah had died. She had become very old, 127 years. She had lived long enough to see Isaac become a man. She had enjoyed many happy years with her husband and her son. Then the Lord called her. She died in peace, believing that God's love would watch over her. Abraham and Isaac buried her in the cave of Machpelah, near the Oaks of Mamre, where Sarah had lived for so long. Abraham bought that grave from Ephron the Hittite, paying a great deal of money for it. That grave was his only piece of property in the land of promise. Abraham and Isaac would never forget Sarah. There was an empty place in their household and in their hearts after she died. Who would look after things in the tents? What woman would give leadership in Abraham's household? Abraham had called his oldest servant and said to him, Go and find a wife for Isaac, my son. But swear to me by the Lord that you will not take a wife for him from among the women of this land, where the people are so godless. Go to the land where my family lives and find a wife for Isaac there. The servant nodded obediently, even though it was a very difficult assignment. But Abraham wasn't finished yet. There was something else he wanted to say. God himself will go with you. He will send his angel before you. The Story Bible for Older Children, authored by Anne DeVries and published and produced in this digital format by Paideo Press, is brought to you by the Cantaro Institute. All rights reserved.